Hello and welcome to easy to learn Today I'm going to show you how to set up and install an IP camera to your network I purchased this camera recently from Kmart uh, It was on clearance price The camera is a SC10 IP outdoor wireless IP camera So I'm going to open the box and let's see what's, what's inside Some manuals, you might not use it at all. Power adapter. And here is my camera looks pretty good okay it has a power connection ethernet connection some mounting bullets CD and Wi-Fi antenna I'm going now to connect the camera I have to connect the Ethernet cable it comes from my router and connect the antenna okay let's make it face this direction now I'm going to power it up So now I'm going to go to my computer to install the software to be able to change the IP address of the camera. The software we're going to use is called uh, General CMS. That software usually comes on a CD, but the one that comes on a CD does not allow you to change the IP address because to change the IP address you need to enter the username and password to access the camera so I have here the updated version which you will find in the description area I'm going to go ahead now and install it once the installation is finished it's going to ask you to log in to the software and the software has a username and password the username is super and the password is blank this is for the software not for the camera okay and then once I log in it's giving us a warning message telling us there is no camera there is no installed camera and I need to add a new camera so I'm going to click on system then add device or device manager sorry and then here I'm going to click on add area and we're just going to call it a I can call it anything you want really doesn't matter and then once you click on it the add device will be activated and now I'm going to conduct IP search and this will search for the camera on my local network okay it's still searching most likely it's not going to find the IP camera on the network 
and the reason for this is because my computer is connected to the router using a wireless connection and this is one of the major problems uh, with IB cameras because you need to connect your computer to the router using a cable not a wireless adapter so I'm going to connect my computer now using a cable and I'm going to do the search one more time and I will see if it's going to find it or not okay now my computer is connected to the router using a cable and I'm running the search one more time yep and I was able to find my camera here as you can see here the camera is 192.168.1.10 and that is the IP address of the camera that doesn't match my local network IP address the first three groups of the IP address should match my one my one is 192.168.0 so you have to make sure it's matching your local network IP address only the first three groups I'm going now to change the camera's IP address to match my local network as I said I need to change the first three groups only okay and the fourth one can be any number I want so it has to be 192.168.0 okay so instead of one it's going to be zero so I'm going to click on edit device and I'm going to change number one to zero and I'm going to put 92 okay for the device you can put any number you want really doesn't matter and the gateway should be the same number as your router so yeah okay now everything looks fine I'm going to enter my uh, my username and password the username is the default one for the camera which is admin and the password should be blank and then click on modify it should say save configuration to device successful and that means IB address has changed successfully so I'm going to click on IB search one more time to confirm the changes yep and it looks pretty good so now it's matching my first three groups of my network and I'm going to do a ping so I'm going to click on run CMD and I'm going to ping this IP address okay so it's working fine now there's no any problem with it so what I'm going to do now is I need to close this software I don't need it anymore okay now I'm going to open my browser and this is the camera so I'm going to enter here in the address bar area 192.168.0.92 which is the camera's IP address and it should give you some warning down there just click on allow okay make sure to use internet explorer because it's not going to work on firefox or chrome and here you can change the language to english so I'm going to choose english and I'm going to enter the camera's uh, username and password which is admin and the password is blank and click on login and we're going to see if the camera works or not I'm going to press ok and yeah camera is working well done so if you see this image in your camera then mean your camera is working as you can see I'm just moving the camera now I'm going to show you how to set up your Wi-Fi connection so the camera can work wireless I'm going to open my browser once again I just close it and I'm going to log in with my username and password for the camera and at the top we're going to click on device config 
and once load up you're going to click on system and then net service Wi-Fi and then you click on search and then it should bring up all the available uh, Wi-Fi connections choose your one and then enter the password and make sure the IP address and the gateway are correct press ok press ok and that's it now you can unplug your cable from the camera and you can test your Wi-Fi and should be working fine thank you very much for watching